Hey, what's up, guys? It's Famous. Welcome back to another commentary. And we are back for another story, finally. I know, I know. It's been a while since I've kind of done a little bit of a story, I know. You know, I, I, might, be do I might be roasting someone quite soon. I don't know who. I mean, I do know who, but I don't know if I want to tell you guys yet. Oh, <laughs> just to kind of give a little bit of an intro or kind of an update like I usually do. Um, it's come to my attention that my, uh, my YouTuber or my subscriber goal isn't going to be met by the end of this summer. He tried it. <laughs> Um, and for those of you who didn't know what my subscriber goal was, it was to hit 200 subscribers. And I have gone down from my original subscriber number, and instead of going up. So, obviously not gonna hit that goal, and that's fine. You know, it's a Hakuna Matata kind of thing. You gotta, you gotta just let it come and go. Anyways, point being, um, I've decided that I don't wanna kinda waste my time, and it's not that it's wasting my time doing YouTube videos, cause, you know, it's a little bit of a hobby of mine, and I like, you know, kinda wasting time on this. But, you know, it's not going to be worth it during the school year, if that makes sense. You know, I don't really want to spend so much time onto this if I'm not going to really get any reward back. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like working a job that you don't get paid for. You know what I mean? It's like being an intern. But even interns, they get a chance of being hired at the job, right? Whereas this, it's like, it's not even the same thing. You know what I mean? Like, there's really no reward here. I'm just kind of doing it just to do it. And uh, I will do an occasional commentary or story. Uh, whenever I get the chance to, which will be rare during the school year, because I'm not going to be focusing on or trying to juggling or try juggling um, everything that I got going on, because you know school, academics, and all that stuff is already a, a big burden on me, and I don't think you know adding another one to that list is going to be um, quite healthy for me. So um, I will do an occasional commentary story whenever I can, but uh, like I said, it won't be forced, or I won't do it if I don't have time, or whatever the case may be. So, with that being said, let's jump straight into this story. It was a bit ago, it wasn't that long ago, I think it was about a week maybe, or maybe even a couple days, I, I've completely lost time, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I went out, I think, I think it was this past Thursday, is what it was, and I went kayaking with my buddies, and I hang out with these twins, I have two friends, and they're both twins with each other named Preston and James. And so, their whole family was going, and they had only five people in their family, and, you know, they were going to order three kayaks that were two-seaters. So you can kind of do the math there, and it would be two for each kayak, which is altogether six. And they only had five, so they invited me. So I came through, and, you know, recently I've been kind of thinking, you know, I just, you know, I should experience life a little bit more, you know what I mean? So the thing is, you have to kind of get, like, past the waves onto the open water in order to kind of, like go like smooth sailing from that point on this was funny it's funny cuz like this kind of ties into two things that happened <laughs> during that old kayaking trip it was fucking funny dude cuz like I just I freaked out the whole time and you gotta understand that the twins also have an older brother named Poon I know it's a weird name but Poon it is right and so he Poon kind of fucks with me a lot so you know just keep that in mind for later in the story anyway so we get the kayaks and James and I are kind of chilling, waiting for, you know, Preston and then Poon to kind of go with their group, you know, because Poon was with um, the twins' mom and his mom, and then Preston, I think, was with their other cousin that kind of came down. James and I thought it'd be good if we just kind of headed out there first, just to kind of see um, how to get out there, you know, kind of see if it's easy or not. And so James and I start going out, and we're, we're kind of getting over the waves, and we're taking these waves one-on-one, -on -one and we're like, okay, not too bad, not too bad. All right, and so James hops on the kayak, and he's more experienced than I am. He sits on the kayak, and he's just waiting for me. He's like, all right, we're going to pass over this wave. And there's a pretty decent little wave, a little ripple, and it, it hopped us over, right? And so we went over that little wave, and on you can see kind of in the distance, big-ass wave coming at us. And I remember James was like, all right, you got to get on now. And I was like, okay, fuck. And so the thing is, you're not really supposed to hop on the kayak from the side. Stupid me, I fuck, of course I do. I go on the side, and I try hopping on. But... I freaked out because the wave was like coming like it was too close to us and I couldn't fucking get on in time so I freaked out and tried getting off and I took with me the kayak and so James fucking flips over and the whole kayak flips over and I'm under the kayak like you know like that one scene in fucking El Dorado with the horse and we were kind of just like what the fuck and James is sitting here looking at me like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I remember, I don't know for what reason, but Poon and his mom kind of got in a little bit of an argument. 
and it, she was also getting really seasick, so she couldn't really stay on the boat anymore. And so James switched with me and Poon, right? And so Poon's um, on the kayak, and I'm on the kayak too. And so James switched over with and went to his mom, right? And so Poon, like I said, back to what I said earlier, he likes to fuck with me, right? And so this whole time you guys need to keep in mind I'm also a little little up there, and by up there, you know what I mean. Anyway, so he decides to kind of make jokes and shit, and so what he'll do, <laughs> what he would do is he would like, he'd paddle with me, right, and we'd like be in sync and shit, and we'd be going fast, and then he'd stop and rest while I'm paddling here, still kind of trying to go, and then he... And then right when I stop, he'd keep going. And then he'd look back and be like, What the fuck, dude? Why are you paddling, bro? <laughs> like, he'd pull some shit like that, right? I remember um, we bumped into uh, we bumped into Preston. And the kayak started moving. And I freaked out. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? And like, it started moving. And I was trying to calm it down. But Poon kept fucking like, he would turn to the side, right? He'd grab the side of the kayak. And he started leaning to one side, like back and forth. Like, he'd start going side by side, trying to like, Throw me off balance. Don't do that! Oh, I'm sorry. Do what? Oh! This? Yes, that! Yes? Yes, do it. Okay. Ah! No, track! No! Stop, Stop doing it! Stop it! I'm doing it! And so, every time he would go to the right, I would lean to the left to kind of counteract it. And so he would go right, and I'd go left. He'd go left, and I'd go right, kind of thing. And I remember he... <laughs> He kind of faked me out, which was so fucked up that I'm thinking about it. He faked me out, and I thought he was going to go right, and so I leaned left. But he kind of faked it to where he leaned a little bit, but he went left too. And the whole fucking, like, I remember the whole boat, like, just flipped over. And we were, and I'm, I got kind of scared because the water was very murky that day. And so you couldn't see under anything. And supposedly we were on the, I think the tour guide kind of thing. Um, they said that we were over, I think, Leopard Shark City. So there were sharks underneath us, and I fucking th threw out of the boat, right? I fell out, and I started freaking the fuck out. I was like, I was like, oh, what the fuck? And I jumped on top of the, jumped on top of the kayak, and Poon's just sitting there laughing, fucking swimming in the water. And, you know, I'm, you know, I'm still stoned at this point. And so I pull it over, and we jump in, you know? And I don't even think leopard sharks are even dangerous, too, now that I'm thinking about it. I don't even think they're, like, aggressive or anything. <laughs> but, you know, that's what happened, and Poon fucking tells the story, like... That we bumped into Preston, and I just fucking straight up leaned over to the side like nothing, and flipped the boat over, like, for no reason. But, you know, that's just another case of Poon fucking with me. But guys, that was just gonna be the story for today, so thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed, please leave a like and a favorite down below. They'd be much appreciated. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. No money to hold, life on the road Yo, it's all that I am A man with a plan, a plan to expand Feed my fam and take over the land Yo, it's all that I be, all that you see Another MC, trying to find my way up out of the streets